Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been so long. I have so much to talk about. Where to start? First off, I Ugh. excuse me. Um I haven't slept, so if I start talking nonsense, please forgive me. It's been a while because I have just been so busy like my productivity with my plushies has tripled since the last time I talked to you guys. In my last video, I introduced you guys to my tiny bats and everybody loved them so much that I have made so many tiny bats. Like I'm probably gonna have to put in a montage here just to show you. I basically was really trying to save a video to, uh, you know, so I could have a big haul and show you guys what I've been making instead of like just a few. But you know, clearly if I keep thinking that way, I would never post a video ever again. So it's Spirit of Halloween, October. I, I just, I had to make a video already. So to start off, I'm showing you my a new color scheme, and I call him Blueberry Jam. I guess I'm making this one fall edition because I gave him a cute little plaid scarf. And he has dark reddish purpley, kind of maroon for his heart. And he is a super soft, whoops, royal blue minky. I don't know, this one, it feels really nice. He's in the shop, just letting you know. My next plushies, or my next tiny bats, are candy corn themed ones. I've already made a few of the yellow variant, and I think I have um, some extra fabric to make a purple, another purple one, but I've already made two other yellow or traditional candy corn ones and they come with this cute candy corn printed ribbon while i wish i had purple candy corn ribbon but i don't and i only made purple ones because one of my friends showed me that there's other flavored candy corns out there and i'm like my goodness the possibilities so i went with the purple one because it looked really cute. I'll show you a picture of it. And I don't know, it kind of had like a little gothic feel to me. Like this is the gothic version of a, a traditional candy corn. And I don't know, I just found it really cute. And I liked this uh, black and white striped ribbon that I have. This one's Lucky Star. He is a little just a little star patterned tiny bat. I might have to go over his eyes with white yarn instead because it just is so hard to see his face. So I might be taking him off the shop just to spruce him up a little. For my, I guess kind of last tiny bat that I have so far, um, I made kind of like a gargoyle themed one. Um, I asked my followers on Instagram what I could do to kind of make it more gargoyle-y, if that's a word, probably not. Uh, some said they wanted horns or what was the other thing that they said? To, to give it fangs, even though it has a very jagged mouth, but that's probably hard to see because of the minky kind of hiding most of the stitching. And someone also said, uh, maybe give them yellow eyes instead i'll try that just to see how it looks it might it might be interesting or maybe white eyes Ooh. i don't know uh he's not in the shop yet obviously because he's still like a trial and error so we'll see how this guy turns out and i noticed i 
made him super stretchy for some reason. <laughs> Moving on. I wanted to make uh, I wanted to make a whole bunch of Halloween themed ones like Frankenstein, witches, um, vampires, and I have those pieces cut out. I just haven't had the time with everything going on to make all the Halloween plushies I've been wanting to make. So there is a possible chance I'll still be making Halloween themed plushies long into December. But um, this is a mummy themed one and I'm probably not gonna ever make a mummy one like this again because this was so time consuming. I basically cut out every individual um, white strip for both sides, zigzag stitched them on each side of every strip. So that took forever and it used up so much of my, my thread and it kind of made him feel a little stiff in a lot of places like this wing feels a little stiff and that ear feels stiff so he's definitely definitely more decorational than cuddly but I mean if you're into that then yeah cool yeah I'll definitely try to figure out like a different route of making a mummy themed bat but this was my first attempt and he is still very cute I just will never have the patience to do this again now for my common size bats i haven't been adding them to the shop in a while just because i was so addicted to the tiny bat craze but for my first one this is the common size they are usually 30 dollars and this is what i would consider like the standard size i uh, <clears throat> excuse me i don't know why my voice is so raspy maybe because i haven't slept hold on let me let me let me go get a drink Ah, much better. Get my big old cup of gel. This little darling here is uh, is actually based off of one of my mugs. My husband gave me this cute pusheen mug, and I had this polka dotted fabric, and I was drinking coffee out of that mug morning I was working on it, and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> let me uh let me run with this. Whoops, let me not dip her wing in coffee now. So, I figured I'd make a kind of fall themed kind of bat. I actually named him Sweat 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 I actually named him Sweater Weather. And he's made out of gray plaid. Gray plaid fleece. That is what he's made of fleece. He has red ribbon with white stitching, and I tried to replicate. All right, the youngest decided to wake up and will only stay asleep on my lap. So I'm gonna try to continue recording because if I stop now, I don't know when I'll start again. I will try my best to maneuver my arms in just a way that I don't bother this precious baby. He's kicking me. I don't think he's happy. Okay, he stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Hello. <laughs> um. Did I give this one a name? Yes, yes I did. Uh, his name is Mr. Snoop. Uh, this is my circus clown. That oxymoron. Circus. Clown. <laughs> my clown bat. Um. He was made back in August and was inspired by the state fair because whenever me and my family go to the state fair, we tend to stop by the circus and catch a show. Whoop, he's Mr. Snoop. He loves to juggle and he will do his darndest to put a smile on your face. He was originally gonna be, ooh, uh, just a plain yellow bat, but I had run out of the black noses and I still had a bunch of red velvety noses from when I made my Rudolph plush and I'm probably gonna make more reindeer ones 
just because December is really, really close. Oh my. So I decided to put a red nose just, you know, to say, well, why not? How bad could it look? I'll, I'll run with it. And uh, as soon as I put the red nose on, all I could see was a, a clown bat. So I looked up a bunch of different, like, simple clown makeup looks. So I just went with the generic uh, triangles on the eyes or above the eyes and under the eyes and just some really goofy, expressive, uh, thick brows. But I figured it, the red matches the nose, the yellow and the flowers matches the rest of them. It just seemed kind of, it seemed like a clown, like a nice little clown, uh, fabric. And I made it into a little poof collar. Figured that was nice. He is gonna dip his ear into my coffee. You stay right there. I had to give him the most wackiest, random, but colorful, uh, clear plastic buttons that I had. Um, if it wasn't for him, I would have never known what to do with that rounded square button. And I, I think this is like a flower. Yeah, it's just really random buttons that I thought fit the, I guess, clown feel more. Mr. Snoot is my little clown bat. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop. I'm Mr. Snoot. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. I fell in love with this fabric. My mom, she decided to get me this gorgeous, gorgeous gold accented sun fabric that uh, the background kind of looks like tie-dye uh, jean wash colors of blue and it the rest is just like doodled on different types of suns. You've got like that kind of looks like a very African looking style sun. Um, like a, like very tribal looking and, or like just a whole bunch of different cultures. And I really, really love it because it just, when you shift it in the light, you can see the gold uh, accents just shimmer and it's just so pretty. And then this is like, kind of like the kind you see in Renaissance books. You usually see suns with a, uh, faces like that on them. Ouch, ouch, ouch. My foot is falling asleep. So I decided to uh, not give him a heart or her a heart just because, you know, it, it would take away from all this beautiful, look at that, beautiful um, detail on the body. So I decided to just give him a gold ribbon as a collar and then instead of putting eyes because I figured they would have been kind of camouflaged by the pattern anyway and I didn't want to cover up this sun at all I liked seeing all of it I decided to make the eyes closed and embroider them with like gold tinsel type thread very delicate very much a hassle to work with I think yeah I think that type of thread is only good for doing stuff like this I wouldn't recommend actually sewing with it so pretty. This one is called Summer Solstice. I made this one, like, I think a few days after fall. I really love summer, so I thought this bat would have been a nice um, send-off to the summer season and to welcome in the fall season. Mama Wits did very good in picking out the my last common bat. <clears throat> Let me take another drink. I really don't know why my voice is so raspy. I'm, I don't feel sick. I just talk and it sounds like I got a frog in my throat. This is another goth bat. This one is not as big as my last gothic bats. My gothic bats, I consider them the uh, large size, large size, but for some reason, while I was rearranging my uh, workshop, whatever you want to call it, um, I misplaced the pattern for the large bat, and I don't have any of the larger goth bats anymore because uh, they all got adopted. So I think this uh, the regular size works for chartreuse specifically because 
it makes her like more cute like she's like the short bubbly maybe even younger sister of the other three i don't know and she is made out of a she's like a throw blanket and it's it's technically like this minty green color but none of the goth bats are named after the actual color that they're made from i just decided to pick the prettiest sounding name in their color group and chartreuse was indeed the prettiest sounding one for her her accents is like a coral salmon pink and these paper flowers were actually an impulse buy because i was in um and I was in Michael's and I'm trying to find stuff, you know, because I wanted to make more goth bats. And I kept going to the paper aisle and I saw these paper flowers and I'm like, maybe I could just emphasize that this is a purely decorative doll. And it's just, you know, it's more like a work of art than something to give to a little child or, you know, she's just there to look nice. And she, she's a delicate flower, just like the ones on her crown. And I guess she's able to sit on her own, too. Who would have thunk? <laughs> I, I, mm, blah, 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 blah. I am adding a new item to my shop, a new type of item. It is still bat-themed, for those who clearly love my bats. I have started making earrings <laughs> I have these earring spokes I've pokes spokes spokes hooks crooks I mm. I I had those hooks for a while because I wanted to try to make polymer clay jewelry but that didn't work out so I wanted to try and do shrinky dink jewelry or shrink plastic jewelry since I have seen that it is a thing and what better way to do that than to use my bat style or my, my art style for my bats and just make a whole bunch of cute cartoony bat earrings. These ones are my skeleton bats that are based off of. And um, I also made some galaxy ones. I actually just mailed out the Galaxy ones, so yay. I'm my first customer that is going to be wearing one of my earrings. I cannot wait for her review. I did print out several of the bone bats of a few other designs, and I have a few more of the Galaxy ones, so I do have plenty of material of, um, I will be coming out with more. I just... It's really time consuming to cut out these bat pieces. These guys are currently on the sh in the shop. They're, they're on there. And I also printed out my own backing for these. Yeah, the backings kind of double as a business card if it focuses. Focus. Focus, focus. Don't concentrate on the pumpkin. Concentrate on the words. Please. There we go. Yes, Bat Earrings, Stitcher Wits. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, as you are right now. And the link to the Etsy shop on the bottom if you were curious. Okay. And now I'm starting to remember why I kind of stopped making videos. Because my phone likes to randomly stop recording. Ugh. Gotta take a sip of this. That's a heavy mug. <laughs>